Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for March 20th, 2020. So we have a Master Teacher card, Soul Connection Crystal Lovers. So this is all about whether, you know, we could take that quite literally if, it's, if it is in fact a love partner that you're reconnecting with or for some people who have always been shut off to love, you know, maybe all of this is making you think like, hey, maybe I should open my heart <laughs> and, you know, can I get ready for love? Can I appreciate when love is on offer? But what really draws me in about this card today is the soul connection. Soul connection. Is soul connection very important? Yes. Is soul connection a beautiful thing? Yes. Does that mean you should over romanticize everything? And you know what I mean? Like just, just kind of fall in with somebody because you want somebody. No, uh, we, we don't want to do that. We want to make sure that the connection is authentic. It's not something that we just make up because we want to believe it. For some reason today, it's interesting that this card came out because I was thinking of someone I knew who came to me. They wanted me to tune in for them. And I did. And this person got very angry with me because the person they thought was their soulmate when I tuned in, I could feel and knew, and I, I didn't know what how to put this, but I was like, uh, this person is actually not a very healthy-minded individual. I could sense that this person was abusive, and I tried to warn this person that they had been ga gaslit, basically, and that they had been kind of played and love-bombed. And this person later on came back and was completely unhinged. I'm going to be, I'm being very straight with you here. This person was completely unhinged and was getting abusive towards me in her language and saying, I didn't listen to you. And I went off with this person. This person's my soulmate. If I had listened to you, I wouldn't be with my soulmate right now. And everything in me was afraid for her because she didn't listen. And when I say she got unhinged, she proceeded to go around all of my social media channels and slander me and say that I, you know, did all these things and, you know, none of that happened. And the fact that she was even coming from that place, I am witnessing this and I saw that she's coming from a very vulnerable place. Like she's really vulnerable to this person that she just allowed into her life. Now, I never heard from that person again. But I'm pretty certain that uh, this probably didn't go well for her. Pretty certain of that. So when we see a soul connection crystal, what we're talking about here is don't give in to the hype. Don't give it because that makes you very vulnerable to someone coming and all they got to do is sell you a love story. All they have to do is tell you you're pretty. Or I think you're manly if you're a man watching this. I think you're so manly. I think you could really help me. Because we can't underestimate like what women are out there doing as well, right? So it's not always women who are victims of smooth talking men or, you know, whatever your preference is. Um, you know, we are susceptible, or men are susceptible as well. We're all susceptible to toxic people, right? That's why I always talk about being careful about what you play into and what you allow other people to kind of make you believe. Okay. So let today be about soul connection in a pure form. It doesn't have to be romantic. It can just be reconnecting with your loved ones or allowing love in, but in a healthy, healthy way. All right. So we're gonna leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care. Bye-bye.